Hey guys, it's Jay. Welcome to another MLB Perfect Inning Live video. Today we've got uh, Rankum, Corey Kluber edition. Uh, pretty simple. He's got 10 cards. We're going to rank him from 10 to 1. Uh, what does that do for you as a viewer? Well, if you want a Corey Kluber, Kluber card in your lineup, it'll help you see the different versions of his cards what the pros and cons are of each card and help you get the best version at the best value um, as you look to build your team. So we'll start with his worst card, which I'm actually going to say is his 2013 season's best card. It is 172K, uh, 59, 64, 66, not great. Pitching sets, only 5... Pitches, 75 velocity is nice, but the rest of the stats, not really. At number 9, I am going to put his base card, because base cards are so unpredictable. But Kluber's at a 65. He's been pitching absolutely lights out. Honestly, this could even slide up to a 69 challenge for the 8th or 7th spot. But just given the nature of live series cards, I'm going to put him at number 9. Six pitches, his command break stuff all in the 60, 75 velocity. Plus he has a sixth pitch, so very nice and much better than, than the 2013 season best. At number eight, I'll put his 2015 season best. 59 command, but 70 and 70 on break and stuff, 74 velocity. A little bit better recovery and confidence. And he has seven pitches. This is a rare seven pitch pitcher. Uh, so, you know, that could even be moved up past number eight. Although, having seven pitches at some point, is it even worth it? Uh, especially when they're D grade until, like, plus five, plus six, plus seven. And then, at number seven, I'm going to put his 2016 season's best, a 69 overall. 70, 69, 70, 75 on the top four pitching sets, which are the biggest ones in my opinion. Uh, and then stamina, confidence, recovery is the best we've seen so far. You do have to get to a plus five, plus six to get those pitches to C grade, though. Uh, so is it really worth getting? Probably not. At number six, his 20... 14, uh, alright, number, number 6, yeah, we're going to put his 2014 season best, 70, 75, 77, 74, better stamina and confidence, uh, still takes a while to get those pitches to C grade though, at number 5, his 2016 August player of the month, 73 overall, 77, 71, 77, so 77 command and stuff. He's going to place the pitches pretty well, and they're going to be tough to hit well. 75 velocity, and then stamina, confidence, recovery, all significantly better. At number 4, his 2014 September player of the month, 70, 79, 80, 74, Similar stamina, confidence, recovery, but his pitches grayed out at higher levels with uh, lower boost tiers and just very nice stats overall. Now, in terms of number three and number two, there are his 2016 All-Star card and his 2017 June Player of the Month. Both 82 overalls. His All-Star is 35 mil. Price coming down. His Player of the Month is 11 mil, and it looks like the price is going to be going up. The Player of the Month has better stuff, better break, lower command. Velocity, stamina, confidence, similar all-Star has better recovery time for simulating seasons or playing season mode than his player of the month. To me, I would put his All-Star at number three. 
I would put his player of the month at number two. I can sacrifice a little bit of command, make up for it with equipment. He has a sixth pitch. Break and stuff are clearly better. Recovery is uh, not a big issue to me. Look, if you lose a couple more season games, yeah, you might lose a few coins, but not the end of the world. This guy, he looks like a beast um, for using in live head-to-head. Like I said, you sacrifice a little bit of command, but 77 command is still enough that you're not going to be too erratic. That's just my thoughts. And then at number one, by far his 86 overall, June the Stars pitcher. Six pitches, half of them at a plus one are already B grade. By the time you get to a plus three, everything's a B grade, or even if you throw equipment on it. 79 command is a little bit rough, but 99 break, 97 stuff, absolutely insane. Um, A very nice card. Overall, I would get his June Player of the Month if you can. I think it's a better value. Um, Certainly, if you have the budget, his June the Sars is his number one best card. But his number two card, which to me is the June Player of the Month, so it's the same month, just different versions of a card, but to me his June Player of the Month is a better budget buy. Um, But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, click the like button. Let me know in the comments if for some reason you dislike this video, why you dislike this video. Also let me know in the comments uh, who you want to see in future episodes. Subscribe if you're new for more MLB Perfect Inning Live content. Also MLB, or sorry, Madden Mobile content for 2018. But anyways, MG, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, and as always, peace out.